Meth just made me want to die. And I didn't know how to quit. When they got to the point of explaining to us why we had these reactions, why I had to use so much more at the end than I did at the beginning, why I felt rage and anger and depression. When I finally understood that it was meth that was impacting my brain and my behavior, it really helped me want to be clean because I understood that it wasn't me, it was the drug itself. Sam Minsky works with the Matrix Institute on addictions. Hi, everyone. Here, he meets with a group in recovery. You know, uh, one of the big mysteries in this field is why people continue to use drugs even after it doesn't feel that good or there's really bad consequences in their lives. And, you know, I wonder why some of you started using in the first place. I'm assuming that at first it worked in some way. I started using meth when I was 19 to uh, mask feelings. I had a really huge uh, blow up with my father and I just wanted anything to numb it. Initially, you know, I was in high school. It was the thing to do. You know, I didn't know about the rush and everything that came with it. It was party time. The first time I used methamphetamine, I was over at a friend of mine's house, this young lady, and we were drinking, and she said, you should try this, it'll really make you feel good. Because I heard that it was a really good way to lose weight. My friends were using it, and, and I had just had a baby. I felt like I could go on for hours and hours, you know, with no fatigue or nothing. <laughs> that was a good feeling. I'm Kristen. I was a user too. I know what it's like. We all start using meth for a reason. It gives us what we want at first, but quickly backfires. Let's explore why meth makes us feel so good. <laughs> 